guys welcome back once again in this video we'll extend our SQLite integration by implementing the crude operations crude op operations which means create read update and delete so the create obviously is to create a database and a table or a database table a read is to, um, read from the table or, or get a list or read elements from the table the update obviously is to update elements or update the table and delete is obviously delete the table or delete elements from the table okay so obviously in our we, we, we I still have our .NET MAUI project here which we have already started yeah we've got a table I mean we've got a class for a person so basically it's just um, to display people or, or persons okay and for this I mean for what we've actually done so far let's go ahead and run it and see what you, what actually comes out of it so as you can see here now uh, we have um, I've got two people on the list here. Yeah? So as you can see here now, we've only got add, which is obviously to, to create a table, an element inside the table of a person. So let's go ahead and add one more person, Paul. So as you can see here now, it will be added to the people's list. Okay. So now let's come back to the chat GPT or the co-pilot here. And then let's type this um, command. So add root operation to the project. To this. So let's select the project. So this is the project. So let's select it. So this is where we go. This is the command. So we're going to add the crude, which is create, read, update, and delete operations to this um, project. Yeah, and also update the UI. So this is the results that we got. Here is how to add full crude, which is create, read, update, delete operations for your person's entity in your .NET MAUI application. So update the UI to support this action. Okay. So let's have a look at what has been updated. So here we've got the main, uh, the main, the, uh, I mean the main page .saml. So this is our UI. Yeah. Basically, this is an update for our UI. So let's go to the main .saml and then um, preview. So as you can see, uh, this is the preview. So this will actually add the new UI. Yeah. So this is what we've got right now. Okay. So let's scroll down and see what actually. As, and then this is the update for the crude logics, okay? So let's go ahead and update it. We'll have a look at it later on. So let's look for the main page .saml.cs and then preview it. So this will actually add this bit here. So let's look at what error that is showing. So I notify property change. Um, so let's uh, uh, so this is under the component mo module so it's a system the component module so make sure you have that sorted out okay so as you can see here now we don't have any errors showing now so let's right click the project and build it so let's build a project so as you can see here now we've got the build completed successfully 
So let's have a look quickly what we've got inside the main.saml.cs, what has been changed. So, so if we look at it here now, we've got a bunch of um, uh, a, a bunch of variables that has been declared. So we've got DB path. So this will be the, the path for the database. And then we've got the SQLite connection. So this will be the database connection. And then we've got a list of people, obviously. People list. So here, let's have a look at it here. So we've got this um this property which is selected person. So this will actually be the, the person that has been selected, maybe for update or for deletion. And then we've got a bunch of stuff here. We're not gonna look too much into that because we'll come back to it. So yeah. But first, as you can see here now, we've got this warning. Let's have a look at it. What warning? So change to cast. We're going to leave it as it is now. It's not. It's not really important here. Yeah? So what we do is uh, let's go ahead and run it to see what actually is showing. So let's F5. As we can see here now, we have we have um, we have the UI updated for us, including the. Uh, the crude operations okay so here now we can select alice okay so here once we've selected it as you can see here now we can update it or we can delete it uh, so let's add something to it alice jones and then update it so as you can see here now we've got it updated okay we can also select the Peter and delete it. So as you can see here now, the Peter has been deleted. So as you can see, the crude operation is not very difficult. So obviously, from our previous video, if you look at it, you can you can just go about it and <clears throat> and then and then add more functionalities to to it. Okay. So um, let's go, let's add something. One name. Uh, Joe, Joe Small, add it. So as you can see here now, we've added it. So Joe Small, once we select it, we can say Joe Smaller and update it. So as you can see here now, it's actually reflected here. So it's not very difficult to get your head around it, okay? So rather than not to complicate it too much, yeah? I will leave this video here for now. And obviously we're going to build on more further, adding more functionalities to our, um, to our project. And let's see how far we can get. So basically, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up here. Yeah? So if there's something that you don't get, please make sure you leave a line and, I, and I'll make sure I, um, I'll get back to you ASAP, ASAP, okay? So once again, have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.